So I was just asked in the comments on a YouTube video I just did about the new object tracker inside of Final Cut Pro, if you could achieve this stabilization effect that was featured in the Beats by Dr. Dre commercial. And while I don't believe the optic tracker can achieve this result, one thing you can do is rely on Apple Motion, and that's why I'm here. If you're new to Apple Motion, you can feel right at home by going to the window menu and choosing Window Layout Cinema. The reason why you might want to do this is in Final Cut, you could be used to the inspector on the right-hand side, and now you gain access to the inspector of motion on the right-hand side, which allows you to see the properties of clips or effects and behaviors that you will place onto clips. So in order to perform any type of tracking in motion, we have to rely on behaviors. So I'll select this clip and go to this little behavior menu, or I'll go to the motion tracking section where we have a stabilized behavior, and this stabilizer provides a lot more options than the one you might be used to inside of Final Cut. To see this, let's head to the inspector, and I'm already on the behaviors tab where I can see the properties of the stabilize. One thing we could do is actually choose a tracking region, and this is gonna limit the track to a search area that we define. So I could limit this region by dragging on the sides of the box here to the motion of this woman. But in this case, I'm gonna show you a manual track instead. So I'll deselect the track region. We could probably get away with just the position data to achieve a result and then add on scale and rotation with another tracker if needed. So there's no need to deselect the scale and rotation values. In fact, I'm just gonna add a tracker here and we get an anchor tracker. This is only gonna track X and Y position data. It's not gonna track your scale and rotation. For that, we have to add an additional tracker. One thing that we could do to try to help us with this point track is hold down the option key when we drag the tracker. And what we should see is a bunch of points that motion thinks are good to track. Unfortunately, in this situation, they're not going to help us track the subject to which we want to draw our stabilization from. So I'm gonna just try to find a high contrast area here. I think I have here at the close to her nostril. We can see this in the tracker preview section that's set to an auto zoom of four times. And now that we have this, another thing that we can do to help the tracker out is ask it to look ahead a series of frames. We can drag this slider to a value of 10 frames, but actually if we just type in another number, since I know that uh, there's over 100 frames in this project, I'll type in 50. This is going to help it when we perform the analysis. And we do that just like we would with the object tracker inside of Final Cut. You should know that the quality is set to better by default and the method is stabilization, which is fine for this purpose. I'll click on the analyze button which is gonna analyze this whole thing no matter what frame you're on. And so far, if I move my mouse over that tracking point, it's done a pretty good job. Let me go back to the first frame of the project and let's just check this out. Now, one thing we can do to get rid of these borders is rely on the stabilization's borders method to simply just zoom in on the clip. All of a sudden, this clip fits the entire frame here in motion. We do, however, lose a little bit of our shot. Now you should know in other stabilizers, there happens to be certain mirror effects which will mirror the edges of your clip. And there are a few different ways that you can get around to try to achieve this inside of motion relying on additional effects after you've performed the track. So what I'll do is set this instead of zoom back to normal. And so we can see this a bit better. I'm gonna set this to 25%. So you can see where it's going a bit black here. One method that we could use is to replicate this clip and then have a, a portion of the replicated copy just show up when this clip appears up or down. One way to achieve that is to use a series of tiling effects. Some of these could come in handy, but another way to do this is just to add a replicator to your clip. So if I click this replicate button, while it doesn't look like it, it's basically already made repeated copies of this clip that's laid out in a rectangle shape. So I'm seeing this in the replicator tab of the inspector. If I drag on this box, this is what allows me to now spread out 
each of these clips. So I'm just going to keep on going. And there's just a lot of copies here because we have five columns and five rows. I don't need that much. In fact, I'm just going to choose three columns and three rows. So now we have less clips, but I'll continue to drag on these boxes until each of these clips are basically bordering on each other. Now I can go to the group that everything's in and lower and place this closer to the center of the frames so my subject remains in the center of the frame and we don't lose anything. Let me take this image and fit it to the frame. And to do a combination of both, you'll notice here if I, I can scale up the group so that this is a bit more subtle here and we only see that repeated pattern at the bottom of the clip. Now let's just recap all this. Inside of Apple Motion, there is a stabilized behavior that has more control than that that is inside of Final Cut. Once you apply the stabilized behavior to a clip, you have two different ways that you can track a clip. One is to define a region of interest, and it's going to look within that region to find the most dominant motion and then try to stabilize the clip from there. The other is to apply your own trackers by adding them. The first tracker will track position, X and Y data, while the second will track scale and rotation. And then from that, it will try to stabilize your clip. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to Creative 111. I'm Nick, and I'll see you soon.